Good day guys. Welcome where maths is made easy with teacher Satya here. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to find the sum of money or the principal in compound interest when we know the amount, the time and the rate. Make sure you watch the entire video to have a better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. So in order for us to find the sum of money or the principal, we will be using the amount formula in compound interest, which is P1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. Now let's take this understanding and solve a question, guys. Now in this question, we see that a sum of money becomes $2,704 in two years at a compound interest rate 4% per annum. Now what we have to find is we have to find the sum of the money at the beginning which is the principal and then the interest generated. That means how much interest did we get. So let's start off by writing the formula down. So amount is equal to P1 plus R over 100 to the power of n where n is the amount of years now let's also write down what we know from the question we know that the amount is two thousand seven hundred and four dollars right guys we know that the time or n is equal to two years and we know that the rate r is equal to four percent per annum that means per year so let's go ahead and substitute these values in the formula. So we have 2704 is equal to P1 plus 4 over 100 to the power of N, which is 2. Right, guys? So let's go ahead and solve inside the bracket first. So we have 2704 is equal to P multiplied with 104 over 100 to the power of 2 and we got 104 is because we found the lowest common multiple right guys now let's see if we can simplify this we see that both of these can divide by 4 so this will change to 26 and this will change to 25 right guys so 2704 is equal to p multiplied with 26 over 25 multiplied with 26 over 25 as it is raised to the power of 2 right guys now let's go ahead and complete this question now 2704 is equal to p multiplied with let's use the help of a calculator to see what is 26 times 26 which is 676 over 25 times 25 is 6 to 5. All right, guys. Now, in order for us to find the value of P, we are going to transpose 6 to 5 to the other side. So 2704 multiplied by 6 to 5 is equal to P multiplied by 676. Right, guys? Now, what we're going to do is we are going to transpose the 676 to the other side. So, 2704 times 625 divided by 676 is equal to the value of P. Right, guys? So, let's see what we have for 2704 times 625 gives us 1. Let me write it here, maybe. 1, 6, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, over 6, 7, 6 is equal to P. Now, if I take that and divide by 6, 7, 6, I get the value of P. So, the value of P is equal to $2,500. And that is how we would find the sum of money or the principle when we are given the amount, the rate, and the time. But keep in mind, this question is still not finished. We still have to find the amount of 
interest generated right guys so in order to find the ci the formula of ci is amount minus principal right guys we see that the amount is two seven zero four dollars minus the principal that we just found just now is two thousand five hundred dollars therefore the interest generated is two hundred and four dollars all right guys now i hope this video helped you out and if you did enjoy the video do not forget to hit on the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos until next time guys have a nice day